Hi, we're at DSCI UK 2025 in London and I am uh, now standing with uh, Yepe next to the Copenhagen Orca USV. You may remember that we covered the unveiling of this uh, next generation USV one month ago in Denmark and here it is in London conducting uh, live demonstrations at DSCI UK. Yepe, great to see you again. Same to you, great to see you. What can you tell us regarding uh, the the USV Copenhagen Orca here at DSCI UK, so now it's in the water conducting demonstrations every day. Yes, but for us it has been great to be here to showcase the capability and maneuverability and uh, get some attention uh, towards uh, sensors and uh, enablers we can mount on the boat in the future. Can you please share with us uh, the kind of feedback you received from the many delegations and uh, attendees of the SCI UK who witnessed uh, the Copenhagen Orca uh, in demonstration? We had several different navies uh, to approach us and, and to have a demo and be out there uh, on the Thames here to, to sail on it and feel the stability and uh, to understand the capability of maneuvering uh, the Orca. But uh, good attention, especially about the stealthy design and uh, th these capabilities. Can you remind us what makes uh, this USB unique compared to other USBs? The whole idea about having the weight piercing concept is an old idea, but to see it uh, born again has been an, an eye-opener for many people. Um, but I think also that uh, everything is built into the to the hull, even the mast, the, all the sensors um, has been built in, uh, communication platforms is built into the, to the hull, and that has been a, a bit of an eye-opener, I think. And access from the rear to the water is very, very low, so I think that is also uh, interesting for people. Do you already have a an order, an end user for this uh, USB? Yes, uh, we have a couple, so we have started our production. So we have six in production now and we are preparing for another 10 start next year. So we're, we're quite busy now. Right. And uh, lastly, uh, again, that's just the beginning, right? Because you're working already on the other uh, USB variants. Yes, we're working on other variants up to 8 tons payload and uh, they will be available start next year. So we are quite busy and also maybe uh, scaling up the, this one particularly. So we can, uh, we can carry a lot of weight and, and cover a good distance of 1000 Nordic miles minimum. So eventually uh, Copenhagen Group will be able to offer a full range of uh, USBs, that's, uh, that's the idea? That's the idea, but also to have the whole uh, logis logistics set up ready, uh, to have them deployed immediately. So everything is built for, um, for fight tonight, I would say. So that is, uh, that's the key for us. Thank you. All right, Yepi, thank you very much. Thank you very much.